Wow, we are up close and personal. Oh no. Hi, my name is Grace How like you do not know now you know your life is different now. Welcome! Drag queens are the most amazing species of human, in my opinion. I've tried to do my own drag queen makeup a couple times on this channel in the past, and it has gone well and not well. So I thought, let's keep this mediocre train going. I tweeted out asking you guys what sort of drag queen look should I try to beat my face into today and overwhelmingly so many of you wanted me to beat my face into Trixie Mattel who I love so much. I'm like out of breath because I'm so excited about this. Her makeup is so extreme. It takes drag queen to this like cartoon Barbie dolly part and weird level that's so fun to see. So I'm going to try to make myself look like Trixie Mattel, which is so much easier said than done. More so than that, I'm going to try to do it without watching a tutorial. She has tutorials online of her makeup looks and I'm not gonna do that, I'm just going to try. And on top of that handicap, I'm only using drugstore makeup. Whoa! So one of the first images that came back was from Buddha96 and this image of Trixie Mattel is just kind of perfect for this video. So this is what I'm going to try to turn my face into. I'm so sorry in advance. Trixie, I'm so sorry. Okay, okay, we're, okay. I'm going to use this bandana to pull my hair back. Oh God, I don't even know how to start. I'm going to put a base layer of foundation on. Let's make our canvas as blank and monotone as possible. This is like a selfish video because I just wanted to go buy new makeup at the drugstore. This is L'Oreal's infallible total coverage foundation. Okay, let's just put some foundation on. Oh, shoot. I brought out a primer spray from NYX. Well, that's Thanks for being here. Smear it on. Your face is a biscuit and that foundation is that gravy. Start with the eyes. CoverGirl, Katy Perry, Kitty, what? I have this, Katy Perry for CoverGirl, Kitty Whisper, like white eyeliner. I'm gonna just start doing that. Try to, oh, I already bent it. Dang it, I needed pencil sharpener. Going well. We're gonna just start putting white in the tops of our eyes and underneath where we see that Trixie has done this, all right. Oh, okay, here we go. Ow, ow, ow. I'm also trying to do this like relatively quickly because I bore myself. Now we're gonna go underneath. This is a great face. Basically, we just covered the entire area that indicates we did not sleep well last night. Oh, oh God, I've slept for a thousand years. In keeping with the theme of all this being drugstore purchased, products. I'm trying to stay within that theme. I have this Bronx Colors contouring palette that's got like this white and Bronx Colors isn't available at drugstores but it's the same kind of like price range as drugstore. We're gonna take a dirty eyeshadow brush and just blot it on a makeup wipe and then clean it on the palm of our hand because we are just a scumbag. And then we're gonna take this white contouring shadow. Oh, let's see how this sets this illuminating powder. Wow, this powder also has an essence of iridescence, which should be the name of an R&B group, essence of iridescence. Not totally matte. Okay, so it's a bunch of like shades of brown that go up, shaded up into her eyebrows. So, this is Revlon's Color Stay. Oh. Which is Gwen Stefani is doing a whole line with Revlon right now, and this is part of her line. Look how very Gwen Stefani. She's just a girl in the world. So I'm gonna use this brown powder in here. Take a brush that we're gonna clean on a makeup wipe. Dry it on our palm. Because we just want like a basic outline that goes into our nose. We can blend this out, don't worry. Oh, look at that. This side of my nose is like new year, new me, and this side is like, What year is it? Cinch that no. Now I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and sort of blend it out a little bit. I'm just gonna put some more brown powder just sort of in the socket. I'm gonna take some of these neutral like yellows and tans and sort of blend that into the brown too, just to soften. That's okay. We're gonna go back in with the this angled brush and our dark brown, and we're gonna just make sure that there's a real delineation between the white and the brown. I have eyebrow stuff on my eyebrows from earlier today. I'm gonna wipe that off with a makeup wipe. Okay, now we're gonna put some white. White at the top. White goes below our brow bone. That looks like a thing. Trixie's eyebrows go above and beyond. So I'm gonna try and matte out like this part of my eyebrow with foundation and then just like draw in more exaggerated eyebrows. Oh, whoa. Ooh, also, I should use this white on, duh. Okay. Yeah, this did not blend well. Let's, <laughs> oh God. Let's be 
you going? Oh, this looks great. Basically just a CoverGirl eyebrow filler thing. You have to fade the eyebrows into... Oh, <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That, mm-hmm. Oh, how flattering. You want to look like you got electrocuted, but only in the eyebrow. The worst part about doing your eyebrows, one, is the fact that you're bad at it, and then two, try and repeat it on the other side. <laughs> this is so bad. I'm gonna brush this with an eyebrow brush. Well, that's insanely terrible. How did this get this bad? so much worse. There's that phrase, quit while you're ahead. But when you don't feel like you're ahead, you don't need to quit. Hold on, I'm gonna really try and fix this. Okay, that feels a little better to me. I'm gonna put some powder on, see what that does. I'm, I can't. I okay, eyebrows. <laughs> are good enough for now. Oh, this has been a journey. We're gonna start, what are we gonna do now? We have the big swooping black eyeliner. I have this CoverGirl liquid liner that I don't know what it's called because I got rid of the packaging. It looks like the shape of like a Siamese cat in a Disney movie. We're gonna try our best to do this insanely exaggerated winged eyeliner and see what happens. Why did my TV turn on? There's a ghost that wants to watch Bravo so bad. Again, my eyebrows aren't, oh, uh, it's creased, god dang it. Wow, wow, wow. These profiles are very different, but both of them say, are you okay? Okay, we have our eyeliner on. <laughs> and I feel like David Blinn just held his breath underwater for like 12 minutes for no real reason. Uh, we're gonna clean it up a little bit. Okay, eyes are sort of, sort of a thing. Now we're gonna work on this like, so bronze and pinky cheek with like the cut in of highlight. I got this True Blend contour palette from CoverGirl. This is a cream. I'm gonna use this dirty, dirty makeup sponge. Got these insane cheeks. This is like a Nike swoosh of color. We need some pink in there. I did buy a blush and the blush that she has in this photo looks a little pinky purpley, so I'm just gonna use this eyeshadow palette. That looks like we're almost having an allergic reaction to something, perfect. And then we want that real deep cut line. So I'm gonna take my Maybelline concealer in white and just cut through the cheeks. We're getting there. Lashes, lashes are a big deal. We got lashes on top and this exaggerated lash on the bottom. And I did something kind of crazy. I bought these magnetic lashes from Ardell at Rite Aid where you basically put your top tier on and then you put your bottom lashes on and they connect to each other via magnets so you don't have to use lash glue. I think it's witchcraft, so we're gonna test it out right now. Upper lashes, lower lashes. We put this one under our top lash. Oh God, this feels weird as f Oh sh Ah, uh, this is wrong. Oh boy. Oh, okay, here we go. Mother fuck. Great. Why? I'm gonna get other lashes and just glue them on my face. Hold on. I think these are Dell's Black 33. I look like I'm Marge Simpson with the makeup gun right now. <laughs> They're on. They're on. They're on. We'll curl them in a second. Oh, I put them on the wrong eyelid. That's why. God dang it. That's not too bad. This all looks normal and fun and great. I actually really am proud of myself. Trixie has this very signature like half lash that goes underneath and I don't have any other lashes that aren't f***ing magnetic but I have these individual ones and I'm gonna try and glue on and see what the f*** happens. Okay, this is obviously not good. The last piece that we have to add to this puddle right now Puddle? Giant pink Barbie doll lips. So we bought purple lip liner. This is Revlon's Colorstay lip liner in Violet Rush. And we're gonna overdraw our lips and see what happens. Oh, look at that. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. She is much more of a pink lip. I bought these Revlon's Color Charge lip powders from the Gwen Stefani line. I guess they're like eyeshadows that go on your lips. Let's try it. Adding some sheen. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, she's wearing a headband, so I think maybe if I put my headband on correctly, it'll obviously bring the look together. Oh, there we go. Wow, perfect. What an identical match. Oh my god. Also, is it weird that I think that I look like the love child of Katya and Trixie Mattel right now? Okay. <laughs> Well, there you go. There's another video of me trying an iconic drag queen look, AKA just ruining the foundation of the artistry that this drag queen has 
built for themselves. I'm so sorry, Trixie. I really tried. I mean, I don't think it's that bad. I just don't like looking at my own face. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want me to attempt other iconic drag looks, please leave them in the comments down below. And do not forget, for the sake of everything that is right and wrong about this look to subscribe to my YouTube channel. For this moment in time, I'm making videos every Tuesday and Thursday, so click that bell notification and the subscription link so that you are notified when these videos of such art go live. I don't know. The viewfinder, I think, is giving this look more justice than what I'm looking at in this mirror down below. Because what I'm looking at in this mirror down below is just so bad and sad and wrong and not, it just is so bad. I'm sorry, Trixie.